1997, Government of Uganda introduced the Universal Primary Education Policy that made primary education free for every Ugandan. Most government schools, however, face challenges in offering quality education due to various reasons that include insufficient government funding. As a result, parents are required to make supplementary contributions to the schools. Parents with irregular income find it hard to save enough money to make lump sum school contributions. Payment procedures are also cumbersome, expensive and time consuming. Many schools also face teacher absenteeism, which further reduces the quality of education, thus impacting student learning outcomes. To address these and other school administrative and financial management challenges, the Ministry of Education and Sports and UNICEF, in partnership with MasterCard, launched Cooper in 2017. The program was in line with supporting improved governance and improved accountability of funding of resources received by schools. Cooper was first piloted in Chibale, Mubende, Kamuli and Iganga districts in 2017 and it was later extended to Bugweri, Chegegwa and Kasanda in 2020. Cooper digitized school payments in order to improve the security, transparency and efficiency of payments in the education sector. It was used by 373,240 students in 913 primary and secondary schools, both government and private. The 913 schools that were piloted were all given tablets to run the Cooper app. The schools also received monthly internet data bundles and airtime to facilitate communication with technical teams at the district and UNICEF. The digitization of school management, financial and administrative data records was one of the biggest benefits of the Cooper program. The Cooper platform was also used to digitize student information, including enrollment statistics. It enabled schools to digitize their accounting and administrative systems to improve transparency and accountability. The app also enabled school administrators monitor teacher attendance, enabling them to identify patterns of absenteeism, establish a form of accountability, and take measures accordingly. Digitizing teacher attendance greatly decreased the rate of absenteeism in all Cooper pilot schools. The Cooper app also enabled parents and caregivers to pay school fees and other school expenses with their mobile phones remotely, securely and easily. It was an affordable and flexible digital education payment system that left no child behind. The Cooper app had a government dashboard which facilitated high-level monitoring of school enrollment, flow of government grants, teacher attendance and communication between the district, Ministry of Education and Sports and participating schools. As a district education officer sitting in my office, I would be able to see what is happening in Vijuni, what is happening in Chirigwaijo, what is happening in Chikangala. And it facilitated my monitoring because I would only go to those schools where I suspect there is a problem after viewing the district uh, dashboard. The Cooper program improved the digital and financial literacy of school administrators and district local government staff. After realizing the benefits of Cooper, many schools adopted the use of technology and bought computers to ease their work in school management and administration. Despite the notable achievements of the project, it was grossly affected by the prolonged school closure caused by the two-year-long COVID-19 and finally closed in June 2022. In spite of its closure, there were many lessons learned. Uh, the issues around the quality management uh, was very key in uh, doing the Cooper pilot. Uh, attendance tracking for both teachers and learners was also uh, very key. And uh, with the with our ME system, which is being actually uh, uh, finalized, uh, all those will be incorporated to ensure that uh, we improve on our performance as education. We thank the Ministry of Education for accepting this program as one of the programs that they could support. And we just also want to again thank our colleagues 
all our UNICEF staff in the different zonal offices that closely monitored the implementation of this program.